Welcome back to Good Morning Maryland. When music fans showed up to the CFG Arena to see award-winning artist Lizzo, most people might have left the concert thinking about what the singer gave them during her performance. But for one fan, it's what she gave to Lizzo that she'll remember most. It was a special moment for music fans in Baltimore seeing Grammy award-winning singer and rapper Lizzo perform live. But one person in this packed arena is cherishing this moment the most, and she still remembers many of the thoughts running through her mind. Yes, that is it. That's what you made. Yes, it's on her body. Yes, it's on the stage. It's bigger than life, like right now, and she's reading my words out of her mouth. Like. Okay, let's go ahead and clear that part up really quick. This is Lauren Bird, but for those that know her, she goes by Bemi. Funny enough, I write in cursive all the time, and so now that's why I'm Bernice on the internet, because she couldn't read Bemi. She <laughs> and Bemi loves to crochet. You to see me at meetings with yarn, at family events, like I always have my yarn with me. <laughs> A family tradition. There were times literally would be at my grandmother's house and like in the living room, everyone's crocheting. In art, she started learning from her mom at the age of six. Oh yeah, apparently her family has a knack for making special gifts for special celebrities. Pictured here, her aunt and a handmade blanket she gave to a guy by the name of Muhammad Ali. And now, after 34 years of turning balls of yarn into works like these, she's watching a pop superstar wearing her creation on stage. But how does one even begin to pull this off? Once I realized her show was on my birthday, I knew that I wanted to create something. Not just anything. So I add little Easter eggs in all of the pieces that I make. A callback to another memorable moment for the singer. And then when she did the Saturday Night Live performance, and I saw her in that Blue Monday depiction, I was like, oh, that's it. For her to honor that historic piece of black art, it felt significant to go ahead and honor her in that moment as well. Honestly and truly, I literally just started with the picture and then went from there. And from the looks of things, Lizzo seemed to appreciate the gesture. It's still surreal. Surreal to Bimmy for a few reasons. I work at the arena. So that's the part that I don't think anyone really realizes either. Like I was at work. And she gets to put to bed the idea that crocheting is old school and nobody does it anymore. I really love the opportunity to be able to like share this craft with more people, allow more people to explore their creativity. And she gets to tell the world why she loves this art so much. I feel like yarn and crochet bring people to a very like calm space and it reminds them of like peacefulness and relaxation and family and joy and things like that and like we all need that. We all need that. And you can find some of Bemi's other creations and how to buy some of her work by following her on Instagram. Her handle is Bemi the Bull. Not, not Bernice, folks. So <laughs> Lizzo was trying to read cursive and she just I, happened. She's, oh, that looks like Bernice. Hey, I, I, I struggle at yeah. reading cursive. I can't still. write or read cursive. So I, we, lear we learned it in third grade. I forgot about it. Mm -hmm. Still struggle to read it. But you know what? What I saw was the hat. I have to go on to Bemmy's now. I saw you looking. I saw you eyeing like, the hat. Exactly. I was like, <laughs> winter's not too far along from here. You know, yeah. we still got something to deal with, but can never have too yeah, many Yeah, can never hats. be too ready for, for winter. <laughs> right. Especially out here, man. So 